Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to design and code a typical login page in a Java NetBeans. Basically we get two input from user, username and password and match with our database. So without wasting time, let's go to the video. Create a new project and type your project name. I'm giving login for a symbol and let's create a new JF frame and I give the name login Now let's quickly add some J panel and text field for username. Let's duplicate for password the same and two label for username and password. And instead of uh, giving them text, let's add some icon. remove the text same like uh, let's add some let's add the password icon password image drag and drop one J button and uh, rename it login edit variable name J button login I put add one more uh, label and you can uh, add uh, your company logo or anything if add one more label and type your company name here And you can increase your uh, text size. And I rename the variable name J text field username and J text field password. Basically, I don't need this uh, change to text field to password field okay and now you can rename the variable name j password that's enough okay now let's uh, run let's see how it comes okay now it's look like this it's perfect let's make it a central center on the j frame now it's coming on the side right so let's code a toolkit toolkit is equal to toolkit and import the toolkit and let's create a dimension dimension size is equal to toolkit dot get screen sorry get screen size
let's run the file again okay now it's coming on the center okay now let's code and we'll see so go to button and uh, you can right click action action performed or you can just double click the button also now here we need to read two text field username field and password field and match with our database before that we need to add library to connect a database I just downloaded the connector file the file and keep it and add it on the library then we can start coding let's, let's connect the database first class dot for name then com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver then surround statement with the try catch then here we can continue connection con is equal to driver manager dot get connection insert let's define jdbc colon mysql colon slash localhost because my database is in localhost and double three zero six is the default mysql port number and database name sample then string sql is equal to select star from login database that is my table inside the sample database where username is equal to question mark and password is equal to question mark this question mark we will read from our text fields then prepare statement ps is equal to now ps dot uh, set string first one will be the username let's go to the jframe and check the variable copy it come back and paste here dot get text now for a password prepare statement dot set string the second one will be the password column so that is j password dot get text there is the same variable from the password field ok now if result test dot next if it is happen if it is matching we will write in if colon if it is not match we will do some coding on else co else part so before that let's create a result set rs is equal to prepared statement dot execute query so if it is matching let's do j option pane and show message dialog let's say let's say it is matching username and password username and 
password is matching Let's copy this if it is not matching we'll do an else part username and password is not match and we will clear the field also okay let's create the database then so let's go to database php my admin go to the sample database and now we need to create one table called login database and we need only three field one first one is id and should be auto incremented second one username so let's copy from the code we don't want to make any spelling mistake or something and the care type is per care that's it so let's save and let's add some value there id1 username let's type zayantech password 1234567 okay go now the value is saved you can see then our table contain one data one user information now let's try Let's run the J frame. Now let's type Zayan Tech. And password 1234567. Click login. Nothing happening. There is some error. And you can see we missed here the username and password to connect the database okay in our connection string let's run again and type username zayantech password 1235678 click login see now you can see username and password matching so it's working and uh, if you give some wrong username password which is not in our database let's see click login username password not match perfect now it's working fine now we want to redirect to a user dashboard or a second frame if it is authorized user so to do that let's create a second j frame create j frame and let's name it as user dashboard here uh, based on your uh, requirement you can design but now i am just giving <coughs> now i'm just giving user dashboard that's it Let's come back to our coding area. Okay, let's copy this to make the J frame sender. Let's 
go to login button click area and now here we will replace this code with uh, so if it is working so we need to redirect to the, our user dashboard so let us create user dash dashboard then create a new set visible let's make it true this dot set visible let's make it fast so the login page will be will not be visible after successful login so new dashboard okay okay now let's run again type zayan tech password one two three four five six seven eight click login so perfect is redirected okay let's run again and we'll see what if a wrong if a not correct user is coming we will get username and password is not matching once click ok and the user text user and password area will be cleared So now what we need is we want to add one more J checkbox there and to show the password we type is correct or not. So let's design. Let's add one more field here. J checkbox. Okay, we'll name it show password. If we tick it, we can see the password. Tick and tick, we will not see the password. So the variable name J checkbox. That's it. Okay. So let's click on the event action action perform. Okay. If J checkbox is selected, what will happen? will code here if it is not selected what should happen will code here okay so let's code if it is selected we want to show the password right so let's take the password field j password variable name j password okay dot set echo cap is the function we are using for this and we will code like this to show the password copy the same if you don't want to show the password when it is untick not selected let's edit like this Okay, now let's run the login again. Type the username, password. Now click show text, show password. You can see. Okay, it's working. Okay, I hope this video is informative and you learned something new. If you found this video is useful please subscribe and comment your opinion thank you